Lena, and I'm here with July Favorites and Fails. I'm only a couple days late, so I think it's still viable, and it's going to be going up tonight anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anyways, I got a box of stuff, and let's get started with the ooh, bottom of the pyramid. There's only two things that really, like, disappointed me this month, so it was actually a pretty good month. Well, one thing disappointed me, one thing I was kind of, definitely has its pros and cons, I'll put it that way. But first, the thing that legit disappointed me, I got it in my Ipsy bag, and I was actually looking forward to it, which made it even worse. It is the Bare Minerals 5-in-1 BB Advanced Performance Cream Eyeshadow, and I don't know what color this is in, because the thing didn't say, but it's some kind of dark mud brown. And the thing is, I tried to use this like a primer, and it creased. And then I tried to use it over a primer, like a base, and it creased. And it's not a pretty color, and I know they're all supposed to be neutrals, but it, I might be less tempted to already hate it if they sent me the, one of the lighter colors, but this was a no-go. I'm, I'm going to get rid of this, actually, because I'm never going to use it. So I might as well pass it along and hope that it works better on somebody else, because I admit that I have oily eyelids, so some things just don't work on me, but so many things do, so I don't feel the need to keep that. Alright, next on the pyramid is the thing that, or the things that have their definite pros and cons. Okay, I bought a bunch of these e.l.f. $1 lipsticks from the Essential line. I only kept, I bought four, and I only kept three, because one of the colors just didn't work for me. I bought Voodoo, trying to keep them from rolling off my desk. There is Voodoo for you, just kind of like this kind of red brick color. I have Seductive, it's kind of light pink. And I think this might be the one that's charming. Yeah, you're the one that's loose. Kind of a neutrally pink. And if I didn't like this color, I would get rid of it because it's a little streaky and it's loose. I mean, if I, I don't want to lose it, so I'm not going to like heat it until it comes off. But, you know, the price point is definitely a pro. The colors are very nice. And even the one that's a little streaky, you can build up fine. But the packaging is so cheap, the whole thing is loose in this one. And like I said, I'm getting rid of one of them because I bought like this bright pink to try out a bright pink. Because I've just been afraid to try a bright pink because I thought they didn't look good on me. And I was right. I don't like how they look on me. So. And that's what's important is if I like it or not. Not necessarily what other people think. So, I mean, if you need to get colors and you don't have a lot of money to spend this is definitely a way to build up your collection and they are the colors that they show on the tube so it's not like you're not knowing what you're getting one thinking you're getting one thing and then you wind up with another color but I don't know just the packaging on them bugs the crap out of me because you know charge another dollar and make the packaging better honestly <laughs> that's what I would say about that all right, and like I said, everything else on here I really like, so there are no more duds. And I will let you know why this one is three, even though I really like it. There we go. My husband keeps offering to get me, like, an uh, editing program, which I need to find one, but I just haven't done it. This is something that I got from Ipsy that worked out a lot better than the Bare Minerals crap. It is the Pearly's. SPF Sunscreen Pure Protect Daily Essential Moisturizer. It does smell like sunscreen, so if that bugs you, then it's not for you. I happen to like the smell of sunscreen because it makes me think of summer and pools and awesomeness. So, yeah. It does work really nicely as a moisturizer and can't hate on SPF 30. The only thing I don't like about this, the full size is $55. Here is an up close of it. So I would never purchase this, but I, every sample I ever get of this, if it ever happens again, I will happily use, and I will happily use other samples I get from Parley's, because I know it's one of the brands of Ipsy that they like to send out. Like I said, even with the like 30% discount you usually wind up getting from Ipsy, I'm not paying that much. 
$55 my butt. I cringe at paying $26 for my favorite moisturizer. But I love that damn thing, so I'm obviously going to be paying it. Anyways. Next. Don't let this position fool you. It's very, it's great. The only thing I don't like about it is that it was limited edition, so I can't get it again. Or This was actually bought for me in the swap with Juicy Fashion 11. It is the Elf Disney Princess Ariel bronzer. I haven't used, gotten to use it a lot because I have a Pro Project Pan bronzer, but I really enjoy this. And it's, it's swatched. I like that it's light. I like that it's golden because it's just great for summer. And of course it would be golden because it's Ariel. And she's like out, she's like out being a little beachy mermaid. I just think this is really pretty. I mean, it's shimmery. I obviously can't contour with it, but I could definitely warm up my face with it, and that's what I've used it for. And this will probably be my main bronzer when my other e.l.f. bronzer runs out, so I like this. It'll at least be my main bronzer for the rest of the summer, because I think it's a little too golden once you start getting into fall and winter. But then when spring rolls around again, I will obviously break this back out. And yes, the packaging is darling. And I can't find these at my Walgreens anymore and that makes me sad because if I could I would probably buy like five more just to make sure that I had them forever. <laughs> Thank you Miley for sending that to me. Let's see. We've hit the second tier of the pyramid. Next is something that Ipsy sent me a couple of months ago but I've just started using on a regular basis because it's in my project pan. It is the Benefit Lolly Tint. It is a little sample. It is the one that comes out with a little bit of the orchidy color. Now I need to get off my hand before it stains. I do use this under my blush every day to make my blush kind of adhere to my skin a little better. But some days I will just use it alone because I think it's a really pretty color. And once I use this up and I'm not on Project Pan anymore, I might actually purchase this because I do really like it. Because I tried the Benefit Benetint, it didn't come out the color that I was thinking it was going to come out, and then Ipsy sent me something else that did. But I didn't have room for it on my thing, because everything else on here I really liked, and I liked that fine, but whatever. I don't know, it totally could have been on here if it was an 11 spot pyramid instead of a 10. Anyways. I dropped my top! Not that top, the top to my pen. Next we have the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Elite. This is what I got for, from that, I don't remember what it was called. The only reason this is in my project pan was because I wanted an excuse to use it. Because I really like it. I think it's a gorgeous summery color and I have banged this to heck and back. So obviously I'm loving it. They have the minty smell that I know some people don't like and the minty tingle that I know some people definitely don't like. But I don't mind, I actually like the smell of mint, so I really don't mind it, or the tangle, and I think this is a really pretty, good summer color that I do wear a lot. I'm just not wearing it today, because I got one of the L'Oreal bombs. But, yay, I would probably actually purchase that after I finish it up. Next we have, we have something I got from Beauty Box 5 which I didn't make a video about because my package got so messed up. First it went to California and the one that came here had the wrong name on it so somebody broke into it and took the one full size product out of it so even though I got the box for free I was still really pissed off and I canceled but my cancel didn't go through quick enough because they take like five days to read your email. So I'm still getting another box and this one I'm paying for so whatever. But I did find something in it that I really liked, so it wasn't a total wash. It is the H2O Aquilibrium Marine Cleansing Gel. This was just a sample that I have used up. This is actually going to be in next month's empties. It comes out clear with like these little green beads in it that I think are... I'm sure they do something. The Science of Marine Skin Care. I don't know. The H2O has a moisturizer that I really like, or a gel pre-moisturizer thing. I don't know. I got it from Ipsy like last year and it was something I actually got to use up before my house burned down. That's how much I liked it was that I used it up. But H2O, some of their stuff is starting to come pop into Walgreens and if this ever pops up in there, I know that their crap's like $20 but I would still probably pick it up or if it came in a set, definitely I would pick it up. 
Now, only three more things and then we are done. Next up, we have something that I have been in love with ever since I got it. It is the Hourglass Lip Gloss and Child. This is what made me fall in love with nude lips. And yes, this is in my project pan, but only because I wanted to use it and not have it sitting around. And for a lip gloss, it's pretty opaque. I was quite impressed. And it does last a really long time. It has a nice smell. I can't describe it to you. It's just nice. It's not wretchedly sticky. It is a little sticky, but that just a little sticky I can handle. Plus, a little sticky will help it cling to your lips better. So, and it does last. Like I said, it lasts a good long while. The full size is twenty eight dollars, which is a lot of money. But I'm when I get my first paycheck for my job, I'm definitely going to buy it because, like I said, this is in my project pan, and I'm going through it really fast because I'm wearing it a lot. Unfortunately, I can't see inside because this is like a sticker on the front. It's not actually how much is in there to see how much I have. So when it's gone, I will cry unless I already have my full size. Second to the top of a pyramid is my Urban Decay Electric Palette. I don't know if you guys saw my last Project Pan update. I said that I was starting to mix in other palettes with my one palette to just get different kinds of looks. And this was the one that I was using at the time, so now it is very well used and loved, and I have just been enjoying the daylights out of it while I was using it. Now I'm using something else, because I can't just focus on one pan, on one palette that I'm not even trying to pan. Um, I don't know, I really love this. Y'all know me, I love bright colors. Uh, some that I wear together just out of here. I wear Thrash in my inner corner area. And I will use Freak over most of the lid. And then I will use Fringe on my outer V. Let me swatch them for you. And they come out really pretty and I love the look. And two colors that I use together a lot out of it are Urban and Jilted. And one thing about Urban is that it occasionally stains my eyelids, and I still wear this thing. It freaked me the hell out the first time it happened, but I still wear it, and I love it. And, I mean, look how hardcore that pigment is. I mean, it's Urban Decay. You don't expect anything less, but lots of times with colored shadows, you get wimpy pigment. So, I was very happy about that. I mean, I've definitely played with Gonzo and Chaos. The two that I probably played the least with are Slow Burn and Revolt. I think Revolt is supposed to be their highlight of the palette, but it's not quite a highlight. I mean, it's straight glitter, straight silver glitter. It's less a full shadow than it is like a glitter topper, really. And the main reason I have it fold with Slow Burn is that when I bought it, I thought it was going to be red. Like all the pictures were showing it red, but that's not red, that's orange. And I like orange. I like to wear orange, I found out even. But that's not what I bought it for. See, when it wipe it off, it looks, it's that definite ready, reddish orange that I could definitely make like a real pretty sunset look with it. But I, I'm, I was just kind of mad at it and kind of avoiding it. But there ain't nothing wrong with the actual color. I just thought it was supposed to be something else. Anyways. I really love this palette. If you like color at all, you should definitely look into getting it. Go to Ulta or Sephora, swatch it, love it. You can create a lot of looks with these. If you want to see any looks with these that I have done, uh, let me know and I will definitely show them to you. And I could show using like a pop of these with a lot of different looks if you just want something a little more subtle. I can go both ways. And finally, da -da -da -da, the top of the pyramid, something else that I got from Miley in Juicy Fashion. It is the Garnier Clean New Cleans Nourishing Cleansing Oil. Dissolves impurities in makeup and replenishes your skin. Jojoba and macadamia oils for dry skin. Don't pay attention to that. that, that's a lie. I have oily skin and I use it every night. I love this. I mean, I just got it this month and I've already used a ton of it. I actually mainly use this to dissolve my eye makeup because I usually just use a wipe for my face makeup, but then I spread it all over my face anyway just in case it picks up and breaks down anything that I haven't 
already gotten rid of. I mean, I don't know how much I can actually say about this. I do like that I can lock it and travel with it. Let me make sure that this is the locked position. Yes. See, like you, this is unlocked, this is locked. So that means that when I go on vacation tomorrow, I can actually take it with me and not be sad and have makeup smeared all over my face. I love this stuff. And it's only like $5 at Walmart, so it's not even like expensive. So go out and get you some of this because it is great. And like I said, it says it's for dry skin, but I have oily skin and it works fine and it doesn't make me any extra, any greasier than I already am. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, that's it. These are my favorites and fails and I will see you guys later.